All right, so the first time I did this and I made a sketch, um, I almost made the sketch too small for me to see that area, and I really want to see that area. <clears throat> so square root of x looks like this. Again, anytime you're not sure what a graph looks like, you know, worst case, make a table, plug in some values, plot those points, connect the points, you'll figure out what it looks like eventually. <clears throat> and then 1 half x, this is mx plus b, so up 1 to go right 2, up 1 to go right 2. So my first sketch was too small for me to see this area, which isn't really the end of the world, bless you, on these questions, <clears throat> but it does help because you do have to know which one's on top and which one's on bottom. So it looks like the square root of x is on top. So if there's one that's always on top and one that's always on bottom, you should integrate top function minus bottom function. And then looks like the x values are 0 to 4. Again, the picture makes that a little bit quicker. And if I undo power rule here, raise the power by 1, divide by the new power, do that here, raise the power by 1, divide by the new power. <clears throat> Looks like that's how it integrates. And then to plug in the 4, When you plug in 4 here, you might think you need a calculator on this, but you shouldn't because 4 to the 1 half is like the square root, so this would be 2, and 2 to the third power would be 8, times 2 thirds would be 16 thirds, and then plug in 4 over here, you would get 16 fourths, which would be 1 fourth, or oh, be 4, <coughs> 16 divided by 4 would be 4. Then you got to plug in 0, but 0 obviously is a little bit easier to compute. So we end up with 16 thirds minus 4. And if you get a common denominator, looks like we end up with 4 thirds, which is one of our choices. <coughs> 